Hello everyone, my name is Alex Lee and I am from Design Seeds. We have received a surge of requests and interest in a specific design trend commonly known as Japendi or Muji Design. This Japanese-inspired concept embodies an exquisite and minimalist design concept that is influenced by this Japanese Zen culture. It is fairly acceptable to most and a recent trend that most homes favour to adapt for their own home. In our previous episodes, we shared some compilation videos of our top best interior design trends, best kitchen design, best wardrobe tips, and today's episode on Design Seed, we will be sharing how to style your home in Japandi design. But before we begin, please like, share and subscribe to our channel to support us in growing to elevate and improve the interior design and architecture scene. If you're looking for a design style that blends the simplicity of Scandinavian design with the elegance and warmth of Japanese aesthetics, look no further than Japandi design. Here are some tips for designing your home in Japandi style. Embrace natural materials. Japandi design is all about bringing the outdoors in. So look for natural materials like wood, stone, and linen. Opt for furniture and deco made from natural materials and choose a color palette that's inspired by nature such as earthy tones and muted greens. Create balance. Japandi design is all about balance, so use symmetry and harmonious contrast to create a calming, relaxing atmosphere. Do not use more than three to four colors in your mood board. And stray away from drastic wood grains and extravagant marble wings. Add greenery. Plants are a great way to bring life and colour into your Japandi style home. There are several reasons why plants are good for your homes. Let me share this knowledge with you. Natural air purification. Plant absorbs carbon dioxide and other harmful toxins from the air and release oxygen, which makes the air cleaner and healthier to breathe. Plants can add a touch of nature to a home and enhance its visual appeal. Stress relief. Studies have shown that having plants around can reduce stress and anxiety levels, promote relaxation and improve mood. Humidity control. Plants release moisture into the air through a process called transpiration. This can help regulate humidity levels in the home. Noise reduction. Plants can absorb sound waves which can reduce noise levels in the home. Keep it simple. Japandi design is all about simplicity, so keep your decor and furniture minimal. Avoid clutter and unnecessary items and choose functional pieces that serve a purpose. Furniture that are practical and have a timeless design.
This project, for example, was inspired by creating a platform as a functional platform seating area for the dining space. It also functions as a yoga platform, kids playing area, accommodate for large parties for extra seatings and also improves acoustic for the home. Functional yet aesthetically pleasing. Focus on lighting. Lighting is key in Japandi design. Choose soft and warm lighting to create a cozy atmosphere and incorporate natural light as much as possible. Instead of installing lightings in front of the display items of a display rack, install them at the back to create a diffuse glow of the carpentry splashback. This would create an overall balance for the visual impact of the space instead of highlighting the pops and colours of the display items that would fault the interior's overall visual impact due to the regular pops of colours. In summary, Japandi design is all about simplicity, natural materials and cosy textures. By incorporating these elements into your home, you can create a peaceful and serene space that's both stylish and functional. So embrace minimalism, add some textures and incorporate Japanese elements to create a Japandi style home that's uniquely your own. If you are a fan of Japanese-inspired design trends and would like to watch more design tips and inspirations on how to design your home in these styles, stay tuned to our next episode. We will be revealing a Japanese Zen-inspired property that features a biophilic home design surrounded by a 60-acre park and captivating interior design. My name is Alex Lee and I am from Design Seeds. We hope you learned something from today's episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, please support us by clicking on that subscribe button and clicking on that notification buzzer to stay in the loop for more compelling episodes. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next week.